Hey folks, Phantom Fish here, and something really interesting happened just the other day. I was out uh, waiting for the bus with my son uh, at the street corner, and two police cruisers came up, and one of them was dragging a trailer. And what that trailer was, it was one of those little speed trap trailers um, where it's got the radar detector, a digital readout, and a solar panel on top, and as you drive by, it detects your speed and it just shows it up on the screen to let you know, hey, you need to slow down. Um, I went over there and I started talking to the cop and he was showing me all about this trailer. Very cool trailer. These things are actually filled with all kinds of technology and they're worth, um, you know, upwards of north of $16,000 a trailer. So these things are not just chintzy little trailers. Anyways, one of the things I thought was really interesting is that when he was calibrating this radar in there and making sure that it's working properly, he would do that by using a tuning fork. So he pulled out this little tiny metal tuning fork and on the tuning fork it says 35 miles an hour. He would just whack it on the side of the trailer and hold it up in front of the radar and the radar would read the vibrations of the tuning fork and it would display up on the digital readout 35 miles an hour and I thought that is impressive that is cool I wonder if it would read the vibrations of the propellers on a drone and if it did what speed would it display and also thinking about the size of a drone would it still be able to detect the uh, drone speed as it zoomed by um, due to its size? It's so much smaller than a car, but I'm wondering if it would still be able to pick it up. Today we're going to find out. Okay, here we are. We are out here at the speed trailer. And the first thing that I'd like to test is to see if the blades on a nanocopter um, will be enough movement or vibration to register anything on that speed display if I hold it right in front of that radar reader window. Radar reader window. Um, looks like it just popped up a number now, but there's no cars coming. So I'm not sure exactly what it's reading, but it does make an indication that it might be pre pretty sensitive, so who knows? Maybe we'll uh, get something to read. So first things first, let me go ahead and turn this little guy on and then turn on my remote. Okay, so the blades are on. So now it's just a matter of walking over there and holding this in front of the radar window. Now a couple cars just went by, but let's see. I'm going to have to hold this in just the right way so I don't chop my fingers off okay this car just went by and it's reading 22 miles an hour let's see if that goes back to zero okay just went off now let's go ahead and turn this on oh oh yes <laughs> it's reading 36 miles an hour if I slow it down let me turn it back on. Anything? Oh, come on now. It just did it. There. Oh, there's a minor one. Oh, there it is. 38 miles an hour. <laughs> From a micro drone. And there you have it. So those things are reading the vibrations or uh, something. I don't know, maybe it's the sound. I, I really don't know uh, what it's reading. But uh, the blades on this little micro drone were enough to uh, show a reading. That is hilarious. Now, let's see if it will pick up the speed as I fly a phantom past it. And I'm not sure if the phantom is gonna be big enough, if I'm gonna be able to fly it low enough, um, or uh, I can definitely fly it fast enough, but uh, that's gonna be the next test. Well, we just had a car go by. We're gonna go ahead and try to take this thing off and uh, see if we can hover it first in front of the radar detector, see if it picks anything up. Uh, 
Okay, let's bring it over there. Not registering anything. I wonder if I need to get closer, but I'm a little bit nervous to get it any closer. I got it right in front of that radar window. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see if we can at least, oh, there's some kind of registering. Some number just got picked up. Let's see if I can take it out and zoom past it, if it brings anything up. All right, doesn't appear that there's any cars coming. Okay, here we go. Yes, it did. It just flicked over to 19 miles an hour. So that worked. I didn't think it was gonna be big enough. We'll see if we can get a uh, another reading right here on it. Maybe I'll go, I'll start from the front and then come back. Bringing it down and I'm gonna hold it in full reverse. Here we go. I was pretty far over. Let me try it again um, while I'm hugging the right side of the road, maybe. Okay, here we go. One more try. Line up just right and hit it. Yes, there's the reading. So it is big enough to trigger the um, speed trailer. That is something. I didn't know if this was going to be too small or if it was going to be big enough. But just perfect. We were able to do it. Let's bring this guy in for a landing. Alright, so how about that? I thought that that was pretty cool. Being able to get my Phantom to register almost like a vehicle would be driving right past that thing. He was able to um, trip the radar sensor or whatever it is that's inside of there detecting speed. Uh, that little drone flying by there was able to do that. And uh, what was the speed that I think it, what was it, 18, 19 miles an hour or something like that? But um, he actually, uh, that's what the uh, display on my transmitter said I was moving too. So it's actually very. Very accurate, which I thought was kind of neat. And then, uh, additionally, being able to hold this little nano drone right up there next to that radar reader window, and apparently this thing gives off enough of a frequency, uh, you know, with its, uh, the sound of these little guys moving, uh, to make that radar trailer think that it is uh, going 38 miles an hour, when in fact it was being held stationary in my hand. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that was a fun little experiment. Hey folks, this is Phantom Fish here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Would love to uh, have you as a follower. I've got lots of phantom related and drone related videos coming your way. So hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Fly safe. Fly safe.